Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bluetooth dongle. I'm going to insert it into an available USB slot on the PC. Now, <clears throat> in the Visualizer 3D software, I started the software. I'm going to select File, New, and then I have my new dialog box here. I'm going to select Evolution, and it's going to say Transmission Method. I select Bluetooth, and the COM port will come up automatically for me when the unit is pre when you have everything already installed. The next mode here is the length of field. Now, the length of field is the same as the amount of meters you traveled. So if you travel 10 meters, your length of field is 10. If you traveled 5, it's 5. So I'm going to select here 5. Then you have zigzag or parallel mode. Once you select that, then you come over here and you hit OK. Upon hitting OK, you come over here. OK. And you're going to say memory to PC. And it's going to say connecting to computer. At this moment in time, you'll wait for the connection to be established. It'll connect, and then it's going to send the data. Once it sends the data, this data will appear here on your screen. You can see the results of your scan. And when it's finished, it will dis it, the disconnecting light here will show up, and then it will disconnect automatically, leaving you to continue to work and manipulate your scan and to apply any necessary changes right here on the PC. Now, we recommend a very small and lightweight PC for the field. You have an excellent battery life, and it's very light. So when you go out into the field, you don't have to carry a big, bulky laptop. A small ne little netbook like this is perfectly okay because it's small, lightweight, and, again, battery life. Because the number one reason for error is a dead battery. It'll slow you down every single time. If you don't have one, get one. If you want one fully pre-installed and pre-configured, get one from OKM.